Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. Today's topic in conservative dentistry is matrices. So last session we had seen uh, two separators. So where we studied about uh, wedges and other types of two separators. So this will be a continuation of that chapter. So matrices. So matricing uh, is a procedure whereby a temporary wall is created opposite to axial walls surrounding areas of the tooth structure that were lost during cavity preparation. So we are creating a temporary wall here. Okay. So we are creating a temporary wall here. So that is nothing but matricing. It's a procedure why a temporary wall is created to the axial walls okay surrounding areas of the tooth structure that were lost during the cavity preparation so this part is lost during cavity preparation so we create a temporary wall to help us in the restoration procedure so that is matricing so matrix is a device used during restorative procedures to hold the plastic restorative material within the tooth while it is sitting. So this process is known as matricing and this device is known as matrix. Okay. So what are the ideal requirements of a matrix? So it should be very easy to use so the retainer or its handle should not interfere with the condensation of the restoration or patient discomfort so this is known as retainer this is a band so we have many types of retainers and band so the retainer or its handle so the retainer and its handle it should not interfere with the condensation of the restoration or patient comfort and it should be rigid the matrix should be rigid enough to confine the restorative material as it is condensed under pressure and should not get displaced easily from its position so it should be hold the restoration while it is being condensed while it is being restored it should not get displaced that is a prime function of matrix and it should provide proper proximal contact and contour and there should be a positive proximal pressure okay so positive proximal pressure means the matrix should exert a positive pressure against the adjacent tooth so there will be a tooth here right so this will be the adjacent tooth so it should exert a positive pressure against the adjacent tooth during the insertion of the restoration so that after its removal normal contact between teeth is established so this should exert a positive pressure here so that even after the removal of this matrix the normal contact between teeth is established so that is positive proximal pressure the next one is uh, it should be non-reactive it should not react or stick to the restorative material it should be inexpensive and it should be easy to sterilize so these are the ideal requirements of a matrix so the functions of matrix is to confine the restorative material while it is hardening to establish the optimal contact and contours of the restoration to prevent gingival overhangs of restoration to provide acceptable surface texture for restoration so this is a occlusal view if we take a side view okay so here we are keeping the matrix so if it is not proper what happens is the restoration it will be coming downward okay so this is a gingival line so there will be gingival overhangings of restoration it should not be there it should be properly contoured okay so if it is not properly placed there will be gingival overhangings of the restoration so 
now let's learn the parts of matrix so any system will be having basically two parts one is retainer and the second one is band so this is a retainer okay so this is a retainer and this is band band is what we attach to the retainer okay so the retainer and band so these are two parts of matrix so retainer it holds the band in desired position and shape okay so this one we attach this to this retainer to the desired position so it has many holes here so we can adjust it depending upon the size of tooth so it may be this retainer this retainer may be a metallic ring or a me mechanical device or a impression combot whereas a band it is a piece of metal okay so this is a band okay so this is a band which is a piece of metal or polymeric material used to give support and give form to the restorative material so the function of retainer is to hold the band okay so this is actually band so there will be a retainer here which is holding this band in position so band is a piece of metal or material used to give support and give form of form to the restorative material okay so commonly used material for bands are uh, stainless steel polyacetate cellulose acetate or cellulose nitrate so the bands are usually available as strips of various dimension using 0.001 to 0.002 inches this is the uh, dimensions and width will be 3 by 16 or 1 by 4 inches for permanent teeth and 5 by 16 inch for the deciduous teeth so the matrix band should extend 2 mm above the marginal ridge and 1 mm below the gingival margin of the preparation okay so when we are placing this matrix band it should be 2 mm above the marginal ridge height okay so if this is a marginal ridge height it should be 2 mm above and it should be 1 mm below the gingival margin of the preparation so for preparation is here it should be below 1 mm below the gingival margin of the preparation so now let's move on to the classification of matrices so classification uh, is, there are very many types of uh, classification first one type of band material that is stainless steel copper band cellulose acetate polyacetate then depending upon its preparation uh, one is mechanical matrix it includes ivory number 1 ivory number 8 then custom made or anatomic matrix which is compound supported matrix then depending upon the mode of retention with retainer and without retainer the auto matrix system is without retainer with retainer are ivory number 1 8 and tofumer depending upon the cavity preparation for class 1 we use double banded tofumer class 2 we use ivory number 1 8 t band or auto matrix for class 3 we can use s shaped uh, or mylar strip or cellophane strip for class 4 again we can use cellophane strips class 5 uh, we can use tin foil matrix or window matrix so there are many classification but uh, all together we classified as ivory number 1 number 8 tofumer compound supported matrix or custom made matrix t band matrix s shaped matrix pre contoured matrix copper band matrix auto matrix clear plastic matrix window matrix and tin foil matrix so mainly we will be studying about ivory number 1 ivory number 8 and tofumer so tofumer is most commonly asked uh, essay question or short essay this matrix system is commonly asked as a essay question so it is very important especially the parts of tofumer you need to draw the picture and draw the parts and explain the function of each part 
so we'll start with ivory number one matrix so this matrix consists of a stainless steel band so this is a stainless steel band which encircles one proximal surface of posterior tooth so let it be the band stainless steel band which encircles one posterior uh, proximal surface of posterior tooth this is attached to the retainer via a wedge shaped projection so this is the wedge shape projection okay so this will be this band will be attached to this wedge shape projection on the retainer and there will be an adjusting screw here at the end of the retainer which adapts the band to the proximal contour of the prepared tooth so this retainer both can be adjusted by uh, turning this clockwise or anti-clockwise and attach the band to here depending upon the size and contour of the tooth where we are going to place restoration so as the adjusting screw is rotated clockwise the wedge shape projection engages the tooth at the embrasure of the unprepared proximal surface so we attach the band to this wedge shaped projections of retainer and we place it on the proximal side of the unprepared tooth and turn it clockwise turn the, the screw clockwise and engage it properly so it is indicated for restoring a unilateral class 2 cavity especially when the contact on the unprepared side is very tight so we can use it on the class 2 preparation when the contact is very tight the main advantages of uh, number one is it is very economical and it can be sterilized but the disadvantage is it's difficult to apply and remove while removing uh, the chances of dislodgement of the restoration now we have ivory number eight matrix so it is a uh, consistent of a band that encircle the entire crown of the tooth so this is just covering one proximal side okay whereas the ivory number eight it, this is the band okay oh, you can see this is a retainer and this is the band we attach this band so this is the band we attach this band to this retainer so this encircles completely okay not just one side it encircles completely that is a difference so the circumference of the band can be adjusted by similarly by the adjusting screws here so it is indicated in unilateral and bilateral class 2 preparation that is especially mod mesio occlusio distal preparation so if you have a cavity here also we can use the ivory number eight with a completed band now let's move on to the toffel mare so toffel mare matrix is the most widely accepted uh, matrix system for the class 2 uh, preparation or posterior proximal wall adjustment so toffel mare was designed by dr bf toffel mare which is also known as universal matrix okay so universal matrix uh, because it can be used in all types of tooth preparation of posterior teeth so it is uh, basically indicated in class 1 buccal or lingual extension unilateral or bilateral class 2 mod uh, preparation uh, class 2 uh, tooth preparation which is having more than two missing walls so it can be uh, used in all these types of preparation okay that is toffel mare so the main advantages are its ease of use it provides good contact and contour for most uh, amalgam restoration it is rigid and stable but the disadvantages are it does not provide optimum contour and contact for posterior composite restoration and it is not useful for extensive class 2 restorations so now let's move to the parts of toffelman which is very important so the parts are it has got head 
okay so head part so this is the head part so this part is known as head so it accommodates the matrix band so here we are keeping the matrix band it is a u shaped with two slots it is u shaped with two slots okay you might not be able to uh, understand it very clearly anyway it is u shaped with two slots the open side of the head should be facing gingivally when band is placed around the tooth okay so this is the open side okay so this should be facing gingivally it should be gingivally facing when the band is placed around the tooth so then the second part is the slide okay so slide is the diagonal slot so you can see a slide here this is a diagonal slot okay slide so that is the amount of band extending beyond the slot okay there we keep that is a diagonal slot where the ends of the band so here we attached the band and the remaining portion will be encased to this diagonal slot now we have two two uh null nuts so null nuts one it is a smaller one and one it is bigger one so this is the outer nut this is the inner nut so the two null nuts in retainer uh which is also known as rotating spindle okay rotating spindle which is knolled nuts so the large uh, knoll nut near the matrix band so this is the large or inner knoll nut so which helps in adapting the loop of matrix band against the tooth and also helps in adjusting the size of the loop of matrix band against the tooth so if we have a toffle mare here okay this is a small knoll nut and this is a larger one and we have similarly attached here so this uh, large one which is changing the size of the loop and uh, against the tooth okay or the adapting the loop of matrix band against the tooth whereas the small one so this is the outer or small one small knoll nut which helps in tightening the band to the retainer okay tightening the band to the retainer the first one was helping the proper adaptation second one tightening the band to the retainer and assembly of retainer the loop extending from retainer can project in uh, like straight which is used uh, near anterior teeth or left or right used mostly in posterior areas of oral cavity so this uh, knoll nuts which is also known as knobs that is outer knob and inner knob and we have a diagonal slot here and we have uh, guide slots so these slots used to position the matrix band either the left or right quadrant so that is uh, present here the guide slots and also we have a spindle here okay so spindle which is also known as a pin so this internal screw like pin that fits into the diagonal slot to secure the ends of matrix band when assembling the retainer the spindle point must be clear of the slot into which the band slides okay so that is the parts of toffle mare outer knob inner knob or outer nut or inner nut or uh null nuts uh null nuts that is the large null nuts or smaller null nuts and the diagonal slot this is a head part and this is a pin or spindle so we can have many types of bands so the bands we use in toffle mare uh we can use flat bands or pre contoured bands so flat bands are available in uh, 0.0020 inches or 0.0015 inches 
so it is available in three shapes that is number one universal band number two mod band and number three narrower than the number two so that is toffelmeyer matrix system so the procedure starting with uh, opening the large null nut so that the slide is at least one fourth inches from the head then hold the null nut that is a larger one uh, with one hand open the small nut in opposite direction for clearance of the diagonal slot for reception of the matrix band so the two ends of matrix band are secured together to form the loop or either or a preformed loop so place the ends of the band in diagonal slot then the small null nut is tightened so this one is tightened first to secure the band to the retainer after securing the band tightly to the retainer then we adapt the band against the tooth by using the inner or larger null nut so after that uh, there will be wedge placement okay so similarly uh, for procedure of removal uh, removal of retainer first small null nut is moved counterclockwise to free the band from the retainer uh, while uh, rotating the smaller null nut hold the larger nut uh, in position then keep the inter finger on the occlusal surface of the band so we need to keep the occlusal surface here finger on occlusal surface to stabilize the band after that we remove the retainer then the band okay carefully remove the band from each contact point support the occlusal surface of the restoration while removing the band a condenser can be held against the marginal ridge of the restoration so we can keep a condenser here so do not pull uh, the band in occlusal direction rather move the band in facial or lingual uh, direction so bands can be cut near to the teeth or uh, on the lingual side and try to pull it from the buccal side so we can cut it here and it can be pulled from the buccal side so that was uh, about Toffelmeyer. It is very very important uh, the parts of Toffelmeyer and the placement of Toffelmeyer and the removal of band and retainer from the tooth. So all are important. Uh, it is commonly asked as a question. So now let's move to the next uh, one that is a compound supported matrix uh, or custom made or anatomic matrix. Okay, this one. So it is. Uh, entirely handmade and contoured uh, specifically for each individual so this band is contoured uh, with an egg shaped burnisher on a paper pad to achieve the approximate proximal as well as the facial and lingual contours then the band is positioned and stabilized by applying the soft impression compound facially lingually and occlusally over the occlusal surface of adjacent toes so we can keep here okay that is a compound supported matrix so we can support the matrix using compound by keeping facial lingual and occlusal surface of adjacent tooth so following this amalgam condensation and carving can be completed so it is uh, commonly indicated in class 2 cavities involving uh, one or both proximal surfaces so next we have the T band matrix so T-band matrix, it is preformed T-shaped stainless steel matrix without a retainer. So it will be like this. So the long arm of T surrounds the tooth and overlaps short arm of T. So this is a long arm, this is a short arm, so this surrounds the short arm. Then the band is adjusted according to the circumference of tooth, stabilized by wedging and supported by low fusing compound. So it is commonly indicated for class 2 cavities involving one or both proximal surfaces. Simple and inexpensive, rapid and easy to apply. So next we have S-shaped matrix. It is used for restoring distal part of canine and premolars. So if we have canine here and premolar here so we use a S shaped okay 
matrix band so this is used for distal part of canine and premolar and we have a distal part of canine and premolar so stainless steel matrix band is taken and twisted to make it like a s with the help of mouth mirror and hand so in pre-contoured matrix, it consists of small pre-contoured dead soft metal matrices ready for application to tooth. So they are selected according to the tooth to be restored and wedged to adapt to gingival contour. So it is used for both amalgam and composite restoration, easy to apply. It is uh, actually very expensive. So copper band matrix system is also there. So copper band of assorted sizes makes excellent mattresses, cylindrical in shape and can be selected according to the diameter of the tooth to be restored. So the bands are softened by heating to redness in a flame and then quench in water. After this the, ha the bands can be stretched and shaped with contouring place. Then the occlusal height of band is adjusted with contouring place. The band is contoured to reproduce the proper shape of the contact area. Then keep it in position. So it is mainly indicated for badly broken teeth, especially those receiving pin amalgam restoration. And for complex situations like class 2 cavities with large buccal or lingual extension. The auto matrix system, uh, which is an alternative to the universal retainer. So there is no retainer used to hold the band in place. So bands are already formed into a circle and are available in assorted sizes in both metal and plastic. So automatic system is there is no retainer. The band itself acts as a retainer. So each band has a coil like auto lock loop. So a tightening wrench is inserted into the coil and turned clockwise to tighten the band. When finished, the tightening wrench is inserted into the coil and turned counterclockwise. So that is uh, auto matrix band which is similarly available in uh, these inches. So it is mainly indicated in complex amalgam restoration where one or more cusp to be replaced. The clear plastic matrix, they are transparent plastic matrix employed as matrices for tooth colored restorations because they allow light to pass through for the polymerization. So it can be celluloid, cellophane or mylar strips. So it is mainly indicated in class 3 or class 4 tooth colored restoration. Now we have uh, window matrix, window matrix it is modification of Toffelmeyer matrix used for class 5 amalgam restoration so the contra angle Toffelmeyer retainer so the Toffelmeyer retainer the band is sometimes contra angle okay so the two types of Toffelmeyer is available straight angle and contra angle so this contra angle Toffelmeyer retainer is applied on the lingual side of tooth so a window is cut in the band slightly smaller than the outline of the cavity so we make a opening within the band it is slightly smaller than the outline of the cavity so wedges are placed into proximally then the amalgam condensation will be done the last one is tin foil matrix it is used in again class 5 restoration for conventional GIC cement so tin foil may be pre-shaped and cut according to the gingival third of buccal and lingual surface of tooth to be restored. Then band is adjusted uh, so that it extends 1 to 2 mm circumferentially beyond the cavity margins. So this can be adapted on the cavity by means of tweezer after placing GAC. Then once the restoration sets the tin foil uh, can be peeled away. So that is all about uh, matrix. Uh, various matrices so we have uh, studied a lot of matrices but the most important ones are ivory number one ivory number eight and Toffelmeyer and Toffelmeyer is a commonly asked question so always draw a proper neat diagram 
with uh, labeling and explain about each part and its function and how to place it and how to remove it okay so hope you understood this concept of uh, matrices so i'll come up with a new topic in conservative dentistry thank you